In order to control conventional lights, moving lights, or other devices, the console needs to know the devices you want to control and how you want to control them. The necessary kind of programming is known by the catch-all generic term, patching. Besides getting devices working, with a little bit of extra information, patching can also be used to set up the built-in visualizer and Granime 3D. Everything concerning patching and the structure of your show can be found in the Fixture Schedule menu, which is accessible by pressing the Setup Hard key. There are two ways of accessing the Fixture Schedule. Full access is used to create the structure of your show. You may set up the number and type of devices. Devices may be named and may be given DMX addresses. Note that saving any changes in full access mode will cause anything you are currently programming or playing back to be turned off or cleared. Therefore, full access mode should only be used if this is acceptable. Changes in full access mode won't be applied before leaving the full access menu. Live access allows immediate application of minor changes, such as changes in a device's DMX address. For major changes to the structure of your show, such as adding or deleting fixtures, consult the full access mode. Press the full access soft key. The fixture schedule window is separated into three main sections. A fixture layer section at the top, a virtual stage preview window to the right, and the fixtures and channels in layer section in the lower half of the window. The layer concept offers the possibility to group fixtures contextually. This makes patching easier and allows a fast navigation through the fixture schedule window. Of course, if it's necessary, it is still possible to arrange all fixtures in one single layer. Use the touch screen or one of the present pointing devices like the mouse or the trackball to right-click on the new box in the Fixture Layer section of the window. This will start the process of creating a layer. Use the first pop-up window to name the layer. For the example, name it Back Truss. Names of physical location of objects are a good way to organize your layers. Press Enter to complete the naming of your layer. A new pop-up window will appear. Here you can choose the type of devices you want to control with your console. Left-click on the From Library box to choose a fixture from the console's built-in library. The console's library appears. Here you find personalities for moving fixtures and conventional fixtures, as well as color scrollers Use the scroll bar on the right side of the window to go down through the personalities. You will notice that many of the devices have multiple versions of personalities depending on the mode or the version of the device. Choosing the correct personality is very important. For our example, we are going to add some high-end Cyberlight moving fixtures running in 16-bit enhanced mode. The personality that we are going to look for is Cyberlight M2. Left-click on the fixture to add it to the show. It is now possible to change the name, the channel and the fixture number of the chosen device. Channel numbers are more appropriate for conventional lights and fixture numbers more for multi-parameter lights such as moving lights or media servers. However, it is also possible and sometimes highly desirable to give the devices you are controlling a channel number and a fixture number. For example, like this, a programmer can number fixtures in a rig the way they are used, but can also give the lighting designer the numbering that she or he wants. To continue with our example, we give the cyber lights from before our starting channel number of 1 and a starting fixture number of 101. In the next step, choose a quantity of 6 cyber lights. At this point, we could use auto patch to patch our new fixtures. However, we'll do that later manually. Press the create soft key to add the cyber lights to the front truss layer. We will now repeat the process for a new layer called mid truss. 
This time we choose very light VL1000AS moving fixtures running in 16-bit extended mode. The personality we are looking for is called VL1000AS 16-bit EN. We can narrow the search by typing the first letters into fixture field at the top of the window. We choose 7 as the channel start number, 201 as the fixture start number and the quantity of fixtures. For the front truss we need 6 clay packy stage profile SVs with a channel start number of 13 and a fixture start number of 301. Let's finally create the last layer called FOH and place 10 conventional lights in it. The personality for a conventional light is dimmer 8-bit. The channel start number should be 19 and the fixture start number should be 401. Selecting layers by left-clicking will result in displaying the fixtures of the chosen layer in the lower half of the window called the Fixtures and Channels in Layer section. This concept gives us the possibility to easily navigate through a relatively large number of lights. Each line in the Fixtures and Channels in Layer section represents an individual device to be controlled. As any other spreadsheet on the console, Columns can be adjusted using the mouse and selected by left-clicking on the column header. To start patching, choose the back truss layer from the fixture layer section. Click on the patch column header. This will select all devices in the layer. Next, right-click on the highlighted area to open the patch dialog window.